Since the fires, fewer than a dozen homes have been fully rebuilt in L.A. County, and about 70 percent of people who were displaced are still out of their homes. Around 900 homes are under construction and could possibly be on pace to be completed later this year. One San Francisco-based company has deployed its AI robotic technology to Southern California to build homes in the burn zones. Kenny Choi shows us how this company is trying to transform the future of construction. Its framing and panels may look like any other home, but what you see here has been built using a robot, except for the cement foundation. Prasanna Vasudevan is the homeowner. I've never built houses before. <laughs> this is my first ever time um, exploring this aspect of home building. He recently bought this parcel of land in a burn scarred area of Santa Rosa, ravaged by the 2017 Tubbs fire. Vasudevan began researching how long it would take to build a fire resistant house. The average time frame that I used to get is anywhere from one year to three years, and I didn't have that much of leeway. To do that, a San Francisco-based company called Cosmic is using its mobile robotic microfactory. They've started to build homes and ADUs in parts of Los Angeles decimated by the 2025 wildfires. Sasa Jokic is founder and CEO. His AI technology takes what's designed and constructs the framing, floors, and roof panels on location. Do you think this is the future of home building? This is, this is the present and the future of home building. Right now, the mobile robotic factory is set up in Los Angeles, where the company plans to help rebuild homes for victims of the Palisades and Eaton fires. They're currently waiving some fees for fire victims and has pledged to build one home for underinsured families for every 10 homes built in the area. We are really on a journey to first really address the, the housing shortage right now in L.A. and bring, bring the... Uh, families back to their homes very fast. An analysis by the National Association of Home Builders estimates tens of thousands of homes aren't being completed because there aren't enough workers. It's an issue that slows building times and raises costs. Construction industry has been battling the issue with the labor shortage for, for decades. And, you know, we are right now uh, are having a demand of building at 9 million homes in the U.S. in order to fill the gap on the housing market and we, we don't have people to build those homes. For Vasudevan, his prefab custom home is becoming reality faster than he thought it would. What you're seeing here is a dream home. Uh, I've been wanting to build something from scratch, uh, from ground up, and I've been able to make this come true. He's hoping to see a finished product in six months and believes he's saving a few hundred thousand dollars using robots to build his future home. The National Association of Home Builders says the impact of AI on the industry is limited for now, but is likely to evolve in the coming years. Cosmic says this Santa Rosa home is the first single family home being built using its AI technology.